going to be talking about freehand sketching. The only thing you need for freehand sketching as far as tools go is a pencil. As long as you have a pencil, you can do sketching. There's no other tools required. Uh, and in fact, we don't want to use tools while we're sketching. Sketch lines should have a freehand imperfect appearance. If you could get some clear paper, white paper, we can do a little bit of sketching together. Uh, our first exercise is to try to make some horizontal lines across the paper, left to right. And uh, we're trying to make lines that are parallel. We're trying to make lines that are uh, as straight as possible. And one of the things that makes it tough to make lines horizontal straight is the fact that you have a wrist. Your wrist is on a ball joint. And then I think subconsciously, when we're sketching, we kind of use our wrist to move the pencil across the paper, which creates a hump, right? So you've got to really consciously work on either locking your wrist so that it doesn't create that arc, or moving your entire arm across the paper instead of just moving your wrist. And then when we do that, we have a better chance of drawing some lines that are horizontal and straight. Okay, so try to do that. Try to get some horizontal parallel lines on a piece of paper sketched out. If we can do horizontal lines, our next trick would be to do some vertical lines. And you can either start at the top and pull down or start at the bottom and push up, whatever works for you. Uh, same idea though, we want to make lines that are parallel, that are as straight as possible, that are vertical. And for some people, this is a big challenge. If you're having a hard time sketching lines that are vertical and fairly straight. You know, the nice thing about sketching is we don't have to attach the paper to the drawing board. So if you need to make vertical lines and you're having a hard time, but you do pretty good with horizontal lines, you see what I just did there? I just turned the paper, right? And no one's ever gonna know when you turn it back the other way that you turn the paper sideways in order to make some sketch lines that were vertical. So if you can do it vertical, great. If you have to do it horizontal and turn the paper, that's fine too. If we make a couple of sketch lines that are perpendicular to each other, now I know we're not working with a protractor and we're just guesstimating, but that looks like a square corner or a right angle. We can talk about the angles that we're gonna use when we're sketching. And in mechanical design, in industrial drawing, a lot of times we're working with 90 degree corners. It's just easier to build things in 90 degree corners. But there are a couple of angles we need to work with occasionally. So here's the number one angle we want to know how to sketch without having special tools or a protractor. Uh, and that's going to be a 45 degree angle. And the way you do that is you start off with a 90 degree corner. And then I made a little arc here, very lightly. If you could do that and then guesstimate where the midpoint is on that arc and then connect the vertex of the angle to that midpoint, well then you've created more or less something that's around 45 degrees. And again, as long as we are in the ballpark, we're fine. This is a sketch. This isn't a perfect mechanical drawing. The other increment we want to be able to work with is increments of 30 degrees. So on our 90 degree corner here, if we made another light arc, the question is, can we break it into more or less three equal sections? And then if we bring those points down to the vertex, we're looking at angles that are approximately 30 degrees, giving us our 0, 30, 60, 90, and 45 degree angles, which are the biggies when we're talking about sketching and typical mechanical drawing and design problems. Uh, not too often do you need to draw a 17 and a half degree line or try to sketch something that's even remotely close to that. But if we can hit these biggies, we'll be doing great.